And what is up guys? Welcome back to Accelerator Sub for another video. Hope everyone's having an absolutely awesome Wednesday. So today we have another sales video for you guys. This is the sales from I believe August 9th through like the 23rd or the 24th of August. So we are a good bit behind on sales. I did not realize how far behind we were. And so I was looking through my camera roll the other day about all my uh at all my unposted clips that I had recorded from sales and I just had no idea that we were like a month behind on sales. Well, more than that, more like six weeks behind. So today's gonna to be a bit of a mega sales video to get caught up on all of the sales that we've had sort of over that period of like August 9th through August 25th or the 1st of September. So it's like a three week period, give or take, I think. So this is gonna be a much longer sales video than normal. And I know there's a lot of you guys that aren't super interested in these sales videos because they are kind of boring and repetitive. After all, it's normally the same cars and cards selling. But there is also a large portion of you that do really enjoy these sales videos. So I think what I'm going to do, um, I think it works better when I only post sales videos like every, you know, six or seven videos rather than every three or four because they just get pretty repetitive. So I'm just going to start posting these like much bigger sales videos that are a lot longer, probably every six or seven videos just to sort of space them out a little bit more because uh, after all, I do like posting you know, content that I'm able to come up with rather than just sales videos over and over and over again in this cycle. But this way of spacing them out, they'll be a little bit longer. So the people that really do enjoy them can uh, watch through 15 or 18 minutes worth of sales. And other people that aren't super interested in them don't have to see a sales video every three or four days. That is just my solution to it. So needless to say, this is going to be a longer sales video. I think this video is what, like 16 or 17 minutes long, but we had a bunch of cool items moving, I think towards the second half of the video, some of the 3D foils from the uncut sheet of cards started to sell so definitely had a lot of 3d foils towards the end but without further ado let's jump right into it all right guys we had a whole pile of sales over the weekend so let's jump right into it the first sale we had was a lot of three loose mint cars which were a cm6 technetium a cm6 hollowback and a cm6 battle spec definitely some rarer cars here with the technetium and battle spec the total on this order was 82 dollars even to a return buyer so thank you for that purchase hopefully you enjoy Next up, we sold a lot of 22 lightly played, heavily played Acceleracers cards. It was one of those variety lots that I'm starting to list again. This one actually had a foil torque powerbomb car as one of the cards in there. It is the powerbomb from the playthrough, the one that's a little miscut. So it has really narrow bordering on one side and a little bit longer bordering on the other. But the total on this order was $34 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold the International Edition carded Metalloid. Didn't open it because don't have much use for international cards. But uh, the total on this order was $38 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two lots of 22 heavily played to lightly played cards. Started tossing some rare cards in there to uh, try and spice up these lots a little bit. So one lot had a chicane. The other one had an RDO1 version 2 foil card. But the total on this order was $55 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. And next up, we sold a loose mint CM6 baseline card. Total on this order was $21 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And that is definitely the theme of the day, loose mint cards. Next up, we sold a CM6 loose mint Excellium. Total on this order was $21 even as well, once you include shipping. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And loose mint cards moving left and right. Next up, we sold three more loose mint cards, which were CM5 Riveted, CM6 Blackwing Synchro, and a CM6 Nitrium. Total on this order was $45 even to a new buyer, I believe. So thank you for that purchase and hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of six more loose mint Excellium cards which were a CM6 Drift Tech, CM6 Ratified, CM6 RDO6, CM6 Nitrium, CM6 Blackwing Synchro, and a CM6 Powerbomb. Great looking group of cars here. The total on this order was $71 even to a new buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And moving on, three more loose mint cars. This was a CM6 RDO4, a CM6 RD10, and a CM6 RDO9. Some rare drone cars here moving in this lot. Definitely some wicked looking cars. Total on this order was $77 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And moving on, we sold a lot of three more loose mint cars, which were my last CM6 Blackwing Synchro, a CM5 Iridium, and a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech. These Synchros just sell almost as fast as I can get them in stock. And those CM5 Iridiums are pretty darn popular too. Total on this order was $49 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two carded accelerators, which were a carded baseline on a pretty beautiful card. I'm not going to lie. It had a little bit of creasing in the corner, but very nice card. And we sold a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech that was carded. And along with this, the buyer also purchased five accelerators foil cards, which were a Fog Vision card, a Size Scalar card, some sweet looking Accel Charger foils, a Nitrox 3 Mod Foil. I think this was the last one that I had in stock. My last copy of Tsunami Foil. 
and a Chrome Globes foil card. So the total on this order was $207 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 high voltage. Such a sweet car. Love the paint job on this car. The black, orange, and the blue really just absolutely pop. Yeah, this car did have a little bit of where, uh, instances where the paint oxidized on it, I think is what it's called, where you get that white paint on the, uh, or that white coating on the black paint. Not really sure what it's called, but uh, I know it's pretty common with high voltage cars because just about all of them that I pull out the packaging have a little bit of that whiteness on the, uh, on the black paint. But the total on this order was $38 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. All right, moving on with some more sales. We sold four Gen 2 cars in one big lot. First up, it was a Team Colors Chicane car. Absolutely love this car. One of my favorite models by far. That crystal blue windshield really makes the car pop. Then the same buyer also purchased the re-release hollow back. I'm not sure if there's any difference in this hollow back and the 2005 hollow back, but still pretty cool packaging. I do like the Gen 2 cars packaging a lot better. They seem to feature the cars a lot more. Then we sold the Accela Charged Battle Spec. This was the last one of these that I had. This one had a little bit of creasing in the corners, but uh, this was probably the one that was the worst for wear out of all of them, and it's still in really good shape. So Accela Charged Battle Spec. And then the last one that we sold was the Team Colors Synchro. This model is so cool. It's sort of like an inverted colors model, honestly, um, compared to the 2005 one. But the Team Color Synchro, so the four of these cars, the Chicane, Battle Spec, Hollowback, and Synchro, the total on this order was $267 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy these. And moving on, the next buyer purchased a bunch of Accelerators cards. So first up, it was a lot of 22 lightly played to heavily played Accelerators cards, including one foil, which was this Armored Plow card. And honestly, it was in pretty good shape. And he also purchased a lightly played foil RDO2 version too. This one just had some light scuffing and scratches on the card but uh, it's still in very good shape and had some waning on the back, but uh, still pretty good condition foil cards. So the total on this order was $50 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another Gen 2 car. This was the stripped metal RDO2, one of the two that I have in stock. Total on this order was $90 even to a return buyer. Absolutely love the RDO2 is getting lots of love because of Hot Wheels Unleashed and uh, the stripped metal version definitely deserves some love too. Such a sweet looking model but $90 even to a new buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the last purchase of the day was a lot of two Accelerators cards. I forgot to flip the other one around, but it was a mint copy of Pile Driver that was packed fresh and a heavily played copy of Hyper Reverb Foil. Total on this order was $47 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And let me just tell you guys, if you are looking for a Pile Driver card, good luck finding one. This card is definitely just as hard to find as Cove Light. Um, it's in a different league of rarity, probably with like, you know, Octanium, Cove Light. Uh, those are just ridiculously hard for some reason. All right, let's jump into some more Accelerators for sales from over the weekend. First things first, we sold two Gen 2 cars, which were the Team Color Synchro. Such a sweet, sweet model. Love the paint job on that car. And the only Gen 2 drone baseline that I had in stock. This one did have a little more wear on it than the average one. Got some creasing in the corners, but uh, this car up close and personal, it absolutely pops. The black and green just look incredible on it. It, uh, it almost looks like it was meant to be a drone car more than a Teku car, honestly. But the total on this order was $145 even, so thank you for that purchase. Next up, we sold another lot of 22 lightly played to heavily played cards with one foil. The foil in this one was a bootlegger reverse, but the total on this order was $31 even, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Continuing on, we sold a CM6 loose mint baseline car. This one did have one or two small scuffs there. It came out of the packaging with this like... This little black scuff here, but uh, it is still a loose mint condition car. Total on this order was $22 even to a new buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold three more loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Nitrium, a CM6 Baseline, and a CM5 Riveted. Sweet looking little group of cars there. The total on this order was $46 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold two more loose mint cars, which were a CM6 RDO6 and a CM6 RDO4. Nice little drone lot. Total on this order was $33 even, so thank you for that purchase. And the last purchase of the day, we're going to keep the drone love going here. It was three CM6 RDO6s and a CM6 Silver RDO3. Total on this order was $47 even, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, moving on, the next sale was a Loose Mint CM6 Carbide. I still have four or five of these in stock, I believe. I don't know where I came up with all these carbides all of a sudden, but there just were a bunch that popped up. 
Total on this order was $28 even to a return buyer, so hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold three of the Gen 2 cars, which were the stripped metal Iridium. Definitely one of my favorite models. Anything stripped metal looks sweet, and I also love the silencers logo on the back of the car. Absolutely looks awesome. Then we sold the Team Colors Power Bomb. It's funny, not many people seem to like the uh, the 2005 Power Bomb. I mean, it's not the most hated, but uh, it's not a super popular car. But this Gen 2 one is very popular. It's amazing what a paint job can do for a car. And the third one was a droned Flathead Fury. Flathead Fury, definitely one of my favorite 2005 models. Um, the drone one looks pretty cool. I still prefer the uh, 2005 one, but that's just me. Total on this order was $151 to a new buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And continuing on, we sold a Gen 2 Cub Light. Total on this order was $72.50 to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. This is definitely one of the coolest Gen 2 models, in my opinion. The purple and the orange really make this car just absolutely pop. So thank you for that purchase. And then to wrap it up for the day, we sold eight near intimate cards, which were Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Vectra Iridium, Active Camouflage, Guts, Pulse Emitter, Sprout Road, Carpoon Hyperpod, and the Navigator Accel Charger, one of the hardest non-foil Accel Chargers to find. Total on this order was $41 even to a return buyer, so thank you for that purchase. All right, next up, we sold a lot of three loose mint cars, which were a CM6 Jackhammer, a CM5 Riveted, and a CM5 Hollowback. Got some Metal Maniacs love here. Total on this order was $42 even to a new buyer, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. To follow that up, we sold a CM6 Loose Mint Octanium. Total on this order was $19 even to a return buyer, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And we sold one of the big boys. This is one of the first 3D foils to move, we sold a 3D foil Octo Rod Hyperpod. This came from the sheet of cards, so it does have the square corners, but uh, this was arguably the best looking of the Octo Rod Hyperpod cards. It's a pretty clean looking card, other than some whitening down at the bottom where it was cut. But the total on this order was $275 even to a return buyer, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of three carded accelerators cards and two trading cards. The carded cars were Octanium, Pile Driver, and Nitrium, and then we sold a Torqued Powerbomb Foil card and a Technetium card, which is definitely hard to find. I've opened a bunch of Technetiums, and it's really tough to pull Technetium cards out of them. And uh, the crown jewel of this order, obviously, is the Pile Driver car on an English card. And uh, I know Flathead Fury and Reverb are rare, but let me tell you guys what, it is pretty tough to find a Pile Driver on an English card because... Uh, it's just, it's really rare. I think Flat Fury and Reverb are more popular because they're fan favorite cars, but Pile Driver definitely is underrated as far as being hard to find. But the total on this order was $205 even to a return buyer, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, moving on to Accelerator's cards, we sold eight near mint to make cards and a lot, which were Wall Crawl, Air Refresher, Riveted, Four Wheel Steering, Magnesium, Emergency Brake, Hollow Back, and Wheel Shield. The total on this order was $11 even to a new buyer, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a lot of two more cards, which was a Mega Base Box and a copy of Chicane. They got two copies of Chicane left, so if you're missing them, don't hesitate to snatch them. It's definitely a hard card to find because, uh, let's face it, nobody's really opening up Chicanes. Not that that would guarantee you getting this card anyways, but the total on this order was $30 even to a return buyer, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the last purchase of the day was a Gen 2 Accel Charged Pile Driver. This one had a pretty beat up blister. This was not from the shipment of a uh, of Gen 2 cars that I got recently. This was one that I had before that. So it has a little bit of a price tag sticker on it. Just not the best looking blister, but still a factory sealed Gen 2 Accel Charged Pile Driver. Total on this order was $61 even to a new buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Moving on with some more accelerators for sales. First up, we sold another one of the 3D foils. This was a 3D foil light speed card. Definitely one of the coolest card arts in the game. This card was in very heavily played condition though. As you can see, it's got a real heavy crease on here. The corners are really worn and starting to peel in some places too. It is just a really, really beat up card. It was definitely loved a lot in its prime. But uh, anyways, it sold pretty cheap because it was pretty beat up. So the total on this order was $80 even to a return buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two loose mini sellers cars, which were a CM6 carbide and a CM5 hollowback. Love the satin red hollowback for sure. Total on this order was $40 even to a return buyer, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Lots of loose mint cars selling lately. We sold a CM6 loose mint drift tech. Not gonna lie, drift tech has been growing on me recently the more I've been looking at it because you know I have tons of them because they don't sell very fast. 
But uh, the color scheme on this card definitely growing on me. Uh, the sparkly blue paint, I, I kind of mess with it. It's not too bad. Total on this order was $15 even to a new buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we had our biggest order in a long time. It was an order of 3D foil cards. So first it was a 3D foil sweeper strike card. Definitely a cool card art. You can see the synchro being sucked up into the sweeper. But uh, three of these 3D foils were ones that came out of booster packs back in the day. They were all in lightly played condition. So this is the first of those. You can tell they don't have the square corners. Then we sold a 3D foil wrong way card that was also in lightly played condition. Definitely had some wear on it, some uh, scratching on the hollow, some whitening around the edges. Not in terrible shape though. And a 3D foil Vectra anthracite card. This one definitely had a little bit of whitening on the bottom. But uh, maybe a small scratch there in the corner. But for the most part, very good condition on these cards still. And the last one in the order was from the sheet of cards that we cut. It was a 3D foil torqued jackhammer card with the square corners. And you guys tell me, you prefer the uh, the square corners versus the rounded corners? I'm kind of torn, honestly. Some of the cards look better with square corners, in my opinion. But this was the torqued jackhammer. Did have some light scuffing on it, like a scratch there. But uh, for the most part, awesome looking cards. But the total on this order was $835, even to a new buyer. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all the items that are moving in and out of my eBay accelerator store. There's lots of accelerators items that are selling constantly on the market too. It is a... Uh, it's been a very busy last three or four weeks with accelerators. I'm not sure if it's all due to Hot Wheels Unleashed or if it's just the steady stream of people getting back into collecting. But either way, I'm absolutely here for it. It's a lot of fun seeing all the items that are selling. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. We are like 11 subs away from our next giveaway. So be sure to subscribe to the Accelerators Hub as well for sure. So I can give you guys some more free stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.